One of the final steps before you're ready to pour the concrete in the Bowtex wall is anywhere that we've modified the block to create a jam, pilaster, or beam. We're gonna to need to do a little bit of shoring work. It's some lightweight forming. Typically, we're gonna use half inch plywood, a small two by strong back, a 10 inch uh, snap tie for regular concrete construction and wedges. We also need to brace the wall. The bracing is not for the concrete pour, but rather for construction loads. Get a freak windstorm blow through, somebody bump into it with a piece of equipment. We want to keep the wall in place. To do that, we recommend no more than 12 feet between braces. We're going to use a strong tie made out of two by fours, just like we have here, in a vertical orientation, one on each side of the wall and a kicker brace down to the ground. You don't have to buy the expensive adjustable bracing that other ICF systems use. It's all off the shelf dimensional lumber that can be bought at any concrete supply. Mm -hmm.